Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I recently got a question about how can you integrate Canva into Canvas? And it's pretty simple. There are a few different ways that you can do this, but I have one better for you. Uh, Canva just released a plugin for ChatGPT. So I'm gonna show you how you can use ChatGPT and this plugin to help you find templates that really work for your class, whatever you're looking for, and then how you'd modify those and put them into your Canvas course. So if that sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned. So as we look at plugins, you need to have the version ChatGPT4 in order to enable plugins. And that costs about $20 per month. It's not a long-term contract. You can cancel at any time. And so if you're interested in this, then I suggest maybe spend $20 get the premium version of ChatGPT for one month and then you can just use it, create all kinds of designs and templates and then the next month you can reconsider if you don't want to spend the $20. But for now, you need to be able to have this plugin beta feature. And if you don't see this, if you have ChatGPT4 and you don't see this option, then you'll want to go over to your settings and here you can go to beta features and you can make sure that those plugins are turned on right here. And so you can see I don't have any plugins enabled. And so I can go to the plugin store and I'm going to look for Canva. So I'll go ahead and search Canva and then I can install that. So with that installed, I'm ready to go. And I can see the Canva icon there. And if I click on this, I want to make sure that that's checkmarked. If you have lots of plugins, then you might have some of them unchecked. For me, I just have this one and it's checked. And so I'm ready to go. Okay, so I put in a prompt for ChatGPT to help me look through the Canva templates and determine which one might be a good fit for my class. And so the prompt is, please create a banner for my online class using the Canva plugin. Now you don't have to specify that, but I'm just specifying it. Maybe one day there will be different plugins and I want to specifically look at Canva as opposed to Visme or Adobe Express if those become plugins one day. And so I'd like the banner to be a horizontal, bright, and colorful abstract psychology-themed course banner for graduate students with the text, Welcome to Consumer Psychology, and by Dr. Sean Neufer, somewhere on there. So I don't know that this is the best prompt, but I could probably refine this, and I'm just going to see what this gives me. And so I'm going to send the message, and it's going to take a while for it to generate. I'm going to speed up the time right here. But essentially what it's doing is it's searching the Canva databases for any kind of template that fits my description, roughly. Okay, with that, now I can start looking at the templates that they found. So, and this is the name of the template, Modern Blue Photocentric Webinar Online Banner. And so that could be interesting. What I do is click on the link of the one that I want and it'll take me to Canva and then I can edit from there. You don't really actually need a Canva account or even to be signed in if you have an account. You'll be able to modify it and download it, but you're probably going to want a Canva account, at least a free account. And so this one's probably not going to work for, I mean, technically that could be a consumer psychology banner. It's very focused on cosmetics. Um, here's a themed one, a monster mayhem that looks more like a Halloween party. So some of these are hit and miss. I'm going to click on this one here. It'll take me to Canva. I'm already signed in with Canva and from here I'll be able to modify the elements. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one out and maybe I'll uh, change this to consumer and stretch it out and psychology if that's the name of my course. Whatever you want and then I can say let's take out the marketing and I will take out this one. Just kind of tinkering around and I'll put Dr. Sean Newfer. So the Canva Chat GPT plugin was essentially looking for these elements that I would be able to modify these elements. And so from here, I could maybe increase the size a little bit. And I might even change this because there's not enough contrast there. Let's go ahead and change this to you know, something different. I might put an outline around it just so that I can get enough contrast there. And then perhaps I can space some of these apart a little bit. So let's uh, move this down, maybe to over there. Maybe I could even, you know, play around with these a little bit, bump up the sizes. Yeah, so you can have fun. This probably isn't something that I'm super proud of, but you know, at least gets me started there and I could think of, you know, some applications for it. Now, let's suppose I'm ready to put this into my Canvas course. I'm gonna click on share and there's a couple of different options that I can do. 
The one that I prefer is I'm going to click on more and I want this embed code right here and so I'm going to grab this embed code click embed and what I want is the HTML embed code not the smart link I'm going to copy this and I have a canvas page all ready for me and so in the rich content editor if I just wanted to embed that as it is I can go ahead and click on the embed icon and I'm going to paste it right in there and I'll go ahead and submit and so here's my banner if I want to I can go see what it looks like in the HTML code and so I have it as 100% of the width I'll go ahead and save the page and now I can see that that's probably you know too big I probably want a banner that's a little bit thinner but at least that's how I can get it from ChatGPT and then Canva into Canvas I'm gonna go ahead and delete this now and let's see if there's another way I'm gonna click on share and instead of the live embed there I'm going to click on download and I can download a PNG, a JPEG, a PDF if this was animated then it could be an mp4 video or a GIF. I'll go ahead and keep this as PNG and I'm gonna download. Okay now it's all downloaded. In Chrome, my Chrome browser, I can see that it's downloaded with the icon right there and so if I were to hop over to my Canvas course and click on my downloads here then I could just drag and drop it and that'll place it right into my course. Another option would be if I had this downloaded then I can upload it using the upload images link and in that case I can just drag and drop the from the file onto this page or if I click on this then I can search for it and I can see my downloads and then I can open that and it'll insert it right onto the page and it'll keep it in my course pages. And since I dragged and dropped it as opposed to embedding it I can see the course images and I'm going to see that that image is part of my course images so the file actually belongs in the canvas course and so that's convenient however if I were to ever make a change let's suppose let me put that embed code back in there alright so I have my consumer psychology banner and let's suppose I want to change this from consumer psychology to consumer motivation and then I can save that then when I hop over to this page then you can see that that change automatically updated and so that could be convenient too if you ever wanted to embed something but you want to change from the fall term 2023 to spring or winter 2024 you can make changes and modifications and not have to re-upload it into the course each time and let me show you one last thing here before I leave you I'm going to delete this code and we're going to try for something else. I'm going to go back to my home and I'm going to just grab another document that I created. This one's a little bit more vertical and so this is my the channel for this YouTube. It's my media kit and so if I click on share, embed, and I grab this embed code and then let's hop back over here and I'll just put it in the embed code link there. Alright and then I can submit that. So if I save that you can see that the good thing about embedding content from Canva is if it's a multi-page thing, for example, I can click from page one to page two, and so it's very interactive on the screen. But you can see that it takes up a lot of space. This might look a little better on a mobile device if you can tilt it to portrait, but I want this to not be the entire width. And so I could go into the code here, the HTML window, and I could see the various widths and heights and whatever. but I'm going to take the easier route and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a div around the entire thing. Alright, so here's the div and I'm just going to put a width of 50% or it could be whatever pixels you want. Okay, now when I save that, it essentially put everything into a box. The box is only 50% the width of the page and so you can see that that fits a lot better. And if you want to get even more fancy, if you've seen some of my other tutorials, you know that I do some pretty fun things. and so. I'm going to put a margin um, of maybe 50 pixels. In past videos, I've done drop shadows in the theme editor. So I'm going to take one of those drop shadows and I'm going to put class uh, shadow 5 might be fun. And we're going to go ahead and save that. So it's going to put some more space around the image and then it's going to put you know some highlighting around there. And I'll put a link to that tutorial in the comments below. You need to have access to the theme editor, so work with an admin. Or if you have access to the theme editor, then you just modify some CSS and upload it into your file there.
And so I hope this was informative. Go ahead and tinker around with the Canva plugin to ChatGPT and see what kind of themes it'll search for you. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time. Happy Disney morning!